ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you a story, very small story. But before I begin that story, I want to remind you, my last name, Ike Gwono, among the Igbo people of Nigeria, means somebody that talks too much. <laughs> but I will not talk too much. I grew up from a family that did a lot of agriculture. As a kid, I hated agriculture. I wanted to be a journalist. Because we never had a, a television, so I listened to radio. In this picture, this is Mr. Jonathan Isiguzo. We call him Joe the Farmer. <laughs> Joe used to be very poor. Joe was not poor because he was not hard working in the field. Joe was poor because he used to be part of 90 million Nigerian small farmers who never had access to information that will improve existing knowledge. Because if you go to Joe's village, there is no electricity. Joe never had a television. And in fact, all these fancy phones, Joe has never seen it before. <laughs> Chineke me. The only thing Joe had was this simple battery-operated transistor radio. But for over 20 years, Joe received irrelevant political propaganda <laughs> that never added value to his livelihood. I created a radio station. I built a small community radio station, today known as the Smallholder Farmers Rural Radio. And this radio station designs and broadcasts agriculture, environment, and market information, reaching Joe and 250,000 small farmer listeners 10 hours a day in Igbo language, enabling them to decide what to produce, how to produce, when to produce, for whom to produce. And, you know, the information we gave to Joe, we source from multiple sources, research institutions, universities, NGOs. Myself and my staff will refine it to make sure it is timely, relevant, and well adapted. And if you know the Igbo people well, this is the place I like. We sell a little airtime and make more money. <laughs> and just using a simple 50 watt transmitter and a 100 feet tower, we broadcast. And what Joe did was simple. Tune in to 98.0, listening and learning. We go back on field. We are not done with him. Over the past five years, Joe has improved his crop yield by 45%. And that has translated into an increase in household income of 30%. Meanwhile, Joe has three wives and 12 children. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell you that information is powerful. Information opens the mind and motivates the quest for results. An informed person will make a better choice more than an uninformed person. Education is the key to development. They will know. Thank you. <laughs>